Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a kitchen tour. I'm going to show you around my kitchen, some furniture, some bits and pieces, uh, where I got things from. I'll share a couple of prices. I'm giving you an idea of what I have, style. I'm gonna show you my pantry, my drawers, my fridge. Just give you the all-rounder of the kitchen. This is something fun. Um, kitchen's one of my favorite things in the house. I love to cook. I love to try um, cooking new things. So hope you enjoy this one. I do like viewing videos on YouTube that are based on people's houses, kitchens, lounge rooms, just all-rounder house things. Like just to see other people's styles and things that they personally like because everyone has a personal preference. And so this is ours. Here is the kitchen. I'm gonna start I don't know even where I'm gonna start actually I might start with just the kitchen bench here and then run you through the cupboard there the chairs and again I will um, tell you where I bought them from prices not on everything but just on some things because I know some people do like information like that and that's completely fine so I'm just gonna walk around but here is the kitchen bench so our bench is just like this brown beige stone and I'll just start from the outer side here so basically under here is just a sitting area um, and we do have a little PowerPoint under there as well in case anyone comes over they want to charge their phone or you know if we're on the laptops or something like that these chairs here these stools um, really nice I like having a little bit of a backing on our stools I think they're comfy and do support the back a bit more than not having a back and they're just a nice gray stitching and black matte base. And they're just from Kmart and they were about $35. These are just some random things that I was just doing today. So that's just a bag of mine. Um, that is Calvin Klein, if anyone likes that, because I'm putting it in the video. Um, just keys, remote. On this back of the receipt, um, my dad gave me some recipes that I just want to write down neatly today um, and try out some things that he's been making and then i've done my weekly menu as well we always have a candle burning so this is the woodwick oatmeal cookie it's a really nice it literally smells like oats and cookies <laughs> i'm pretty straightforward with the um, name but um these candles are normally scattered around in store um however you can go on the website as well i will put that in the description below also, these candles come in a few different scents. Um, they're nice and scented as well. However, they do have a crackling sound. So if you're someone that does like your candles too, they have that crackle and it's a little bit different to other candles and very nice for the winter time. These candles come in small, medium and large. This one cost me, I think about $40, I believe. And personally, I got this one from the Wild Gift Store at Knox City. However, they are scattered around. Um, I will probably be doing a candle video at some point as well. If you like your candles, I've got plenty to share. Moving on, we just have the sink. Um, this actually belongs in the dishwasher, but um, we have two of them, so I'm just not using it at the moment. This is just a drying mat and rack. This is from Kmart. I think this was about 10 or $15. Next is this section, and we just have the microwave. Um, it's just a black one. It's by LG. We got ours personally from JB Hi-Fi. I think it was about 200 and something dollars. And that is from mum and the family. So thank you for that. She really wanted to buy us something. So that's what it is like inside. And it makes a really nice singing sound when you're finished cooking in it. So I'm just going to put on for 30 seconds and play you the sound. I love the like really bright blue color for the numbers. I I don't know, that's something small, but that's a bit of detail for you. Very cute. <laughs> we also have the same with the washing machine that actually does a little singing thing. So obviously we like it all musical up in here. And just on the top here, um, we have a couple of cooling racks. Um, and these actually belong in the oven. This is a cooling rack from Target, I think about seven to $10. In the drawer below here, Hello. So obviously over here, I just have like the bits and pieces like your foil, glad wrap and reusable bags. Um, I have a vegetable cutter here. This was from Kmart. I think it was about $12. These are really good guys. Um, it comes in small, medium and large. We got those from Aldi actually. And I know Aldi normally changes their stuff, um, but they were about, I think $15 for the set. So they're pretty good. And you can like bake with them, use them as lunch boxes, freeze things in them. They're really, really handy. We have two measuring cups here, 
small and large one. I got those from Target. The small one was seven and I think the large one was 10. At the back here, um, that is actually Nonna's container that I found that I unpacked when I was here. Um, these are like little coasters. They actually came in like a house pack thing when we moved. And then underneath, as you can see, the little quiche trays. These are little platter things so you can put like your cheese, olives and stuff in. Those back there is like a cutlery holder for when we eventually have people over for the table. And lastly, we have like a salad bowl here that actually goes on a wooden stand. Um, that was from Harris Scarf. I can't remember the brand. I think it starts with S. And um, I think we got that for about $20 on sale. This I really like. It's just your drainer for pasta, salad, whatever you like. And we got that for, I think, $15 from Target. And then we have a mixing bowl here from Target that was about $7 to $10. Lastly, for this section, um, that is just obviously the dishwasher there. That is from JB Hi-Fi by Westinghouse. That was about 800 if anyone is interested in that. Um, it's just like a gray chrome color, but here is our under the sink cupboard. So I'll run you through the top and the bottom. Quickly from the top, we've just got a like soap detergent dispenser there that comes with a little holder, which is very handy if in case it's wet, it doesn't go all over the base of the shelf there. Um, just some dishwash. Over here, we've just got like some sponges for the sink, garbage bag and dishwashing tablets. If you are someone like us that does like to have scents in the house, and um, I think these are really handy. I got these ones personally, rather from Coles or Aldi. These ones were from Aldi. They're vanilla scented garbage bags. Really good way to keep your bins smelling nice and not have that rubbish smell in them. And these were literally around $2, I think. Um, in Coles, they, oh, they range, I think they're around $4 or so. Another tip for just keeping the under sink area scented is I just use like a car freshener. You can use other types of scents. You can use a diffuser. You can just put those little scented sachet bags under there. Um, I just find the car fresheners, you get more variety of scents. Otherwise, I just find it's a very dull smell and I just don't like things smelling like that and like chemically. So that is why we use that. Next, we have the bottom over here. Just a little step ladder, a mini one that was from Kmart that was like $4 or something. Very affordable. That is because I just cannot reach up there towards the back for the life of me. Just some cloths, some detergents. This thing here actually is pretty cool. This is actually for the toilet. It's a gel thing that you literally like just push once on the side of the toilet and it comes out as a star shape and just keeps the toilet smelling fresh. And then this has just got all your essential household cleaning products. I put it in a basket. These are from Kmart just because I think it's neat and goes all together. Again, this isn't exactly the way we want it. These we want to hang up eventually, but they are just delayed for the moment. Um, by the way, just why this is at the front, sugar, sugar, sugar soap. Seriously, a really good product to have. It really helps clean so many things. And we will head over to the pantry over here before we make our way through there. Here is our pantry. I love how it is so big and it's got quite a bit of length in it. So it does go a fair bit back. Again, this is something we haven't um, organized to how we would like it. I would like to get baskets. I would like to get some more canisters. I'm going to get personalized labels for the canisters and just neaten it up and have everything not just basically sitting by itself. But for the moment, we're going to make do. Um, I might start from the top and work my way to the bottom. Thank God I can lift the phone up there to show you because <laughs> I am too small. So at the back there, we have an air fryer. Thank you, family, for that. They are amazing. We have not yet used it. But my family has one. We used to use it at home all the time. Really, really good. That is from Kmart. I believe they are around $60. So much more affordable than anywhere else to buy air fryers. They can be over $100, over $200. But that really does work, that one from Kmart. Okay, so the red thing at the back there is an espresso maker. Um, that was from one of my aunties and uncles. So thank you for that. That just you put on the stove, makes cups of espresso. On my dad's side of the family, we are Italian, so we all normally do have this. And um, it's just a way to make your espresso. So if anyone's interested, I don't know where my auntie got this one from. I can't remember, um, but you can pretty much get them at any homeware store. Then we have a milkshake maker that mum just gave us. So thank you for that. And some Uncle Toby's oats. So this is probably the neatest one so far because I've actually got some canisters here. I'll run you through some prices where I got the canisters from and etc. for everything else. Starting from this side, just leftover Easter eggs. Of course, everyone has that. 
down the back we just have some canisters here with some rice and some pasta and i got those from target and i think the large ones are about ten dollars these medium ones are about six dollars and i don't have any of the small ones i have a few of them um that's just got some of those whatever those things are i can't remember the name cocoa powder and then mum and nana and the family gave us some tim tams in a delivery Middle row, we just have some canisters and these were from Kmart. They're just a little quoted in regards to obviously sugar, coffee and tea. Um, they're not something I would really have on display. They were just something fun for the pantry to hold stuff in. And back there we have the Spice Crusher. I don't know what the hell you call these. I think this is by Backer Cat, if that's how you say it. That is from the house store and I believe that was $20 or under. And by the way, if you do like these, I think they still have them at Kmart and they are about $10. Yes, they're $10. And if you can't see them in the store, have a look online. Next row, I've actually got to give this a wipe because I didn't realize that bottle that I finished last night is leaking. Um, anyway, so we just have this little tray here. This was from Kmart. I think it was around $10 or less. And this we got from actually the bathroom section. And we just have our main oils and things that we use on this tray. We normally have three. I normally have a olive oil, this Worcestershire sauce, and some garlic infused oil as well. It's just a good way to not get any oil that you are using on the actual shelf in your pantry. It's a very little handy thing to have. And for anyone who's interested, I use um, garlic infused oil. I use olive oil. Back here I have two Italian oils. This has like garlic and rosemary and the one behind has chili. And then behind that, which I can't reach for the moment, is just Italian white wine vinegar. Then I just have some bottles of tomato sauce here that I use when I make Nonna's homemade pasta sauce, which she taught me how to make. It's just a basic um, tomato sauce for your pastas. It does have meat in it, the one that we make. Um, but I just get these from Aldi and they're like, about two dollars a bottle so they're really affordable and um, they are australian green tomatoes next is the shelf that i really like just it's kind of really chock a block but however i'll just dive through some things that we have in here um basically with this i want to get little um pull out containers and stuff like that just to neaten it up and so it's not all kind of all over the place and again has its own little holder to sit in um but we'll dive into that starting from this side so at the front here, I just have some spreads and like some drinking mix, some icing, um, just like honey and that. Uh, these I got Shane for Christmas. These are really good, by the way, guys. If you like your Wolfer sticks, these are salted caramel. They're really, really nice. Uh, these were from Maya. They're $15, um, but yeah, really nice. These are really cool. Um, these are to flavor these two ones here. I just want to show you from Aldi. Um, they're not expensive. They're about $3 or something like that, but they just flavor your meats which are really nice for steak and yeah at the back here we just have some rice extra pasta um noodles mac and cheese um i want to do a video and try these pop tarts guys so that's another thing coming up english muffins they are freaking amazing they are so simple but so good um just shane's little dip it for his lunch boxes some extra bottles of water back there and his protein bars just have some bread rolls and I have this bread here. I want to try and make my own garlic bread, but I'm not going to be making the dough just yet. So I just thought I'll grab a thicker sourdough type bread and do the flavoring myself. Simple and easy. You really want to try it out. Then we got some Anzac biscuits because it was Anzac Day the other day. So we just like to do that for Anzac Day. Some lolly things. Um, and then we just got like basically all here is like your baking ingredients. Flowers, bicarb sodas, icing sugar. My dad also wanted me to make some things, so I had to grab the ingredients to bake those. Pancake mixture, some cake mixture, because I do like to just bake. And if anyone's looking for something a bit healthier than your everyday sugar, coconut sugar, um, it's definitely nowhere near as sweet as normal sugar, but it's quite nice and it's definitely something you can get used to. Um, I get this one from Coles. Heading down here, we just pretty much have more so the tinned stuff. Um, so italian diced tomatoes beetroot mixed berries carnation milk little tip these two here the berries and carnation milk you just pretty much pour them together mix them together there you go little sweet treat for the weekend and doesn't make you feel as guilty as everything else that is sweet then we have cannellini beans gravy some pineapple pieces there tuna organic tomato paste which i use in my pasta sauce majority of the time baked beans because i freaking love baked beans on toast 
Then back here, what do we have? Okay. Oh, hello. I didn't realize we actually do have some more sugar back there. Okay. We are definitely stocked up. Um, over here, we have these salt and pepper and chili shakers. Now, I've had a couple of people actually ask me in one of my previous things that I posted on my Instagram where I got these from. So the two here that are labeled, the chili and the salt, I actually got them from Kmart. They were about, if I'm correct, I think they were 5 or $10 each. And then this one I got from House, the pepper one, and that was around $20. And that was because I don't know why it came up, but you guys didn't provide the pepper, I believe. I don't know why, but I had to go searching for a rose gold one and I found it. Also, thank you to Aaron, my brother, for actually getting the shakers to work because we could not figure it out. If anyone wants just like a squeezy bottle for like a dollar, literally go to Kmart. And then we just have some serviettes. And over here is a freaking awesome theater popcorn maker. I cannot wait to have my family or friends over because this will be coming out. And it will literally be like you're at the cinemas, guys. Believe me, when I have people over and I want to do a theme, I will do a goddamn theme. And I think this was like $60 from Kmart. Lastly for the pantry is the bottom here, which is basically my pots and pans. Um, pretty much all the pots you see and pans here, apart from this green one. Uh, this green one was from Aldi. It's $12. Um, it's really nice just to cook your meats on. And I love the wooden handle there. I don't think they have them anymore though. But again, you can buy those type of things at any house store. Um, for these ones, they're really nice like beige color and white. Um, you'll see throughout the house, it's pretty much beige, white, grays um, that we really like. And we have like black as like a statement color. So yes, um, we do have a dark gray one there. That's a wok. Um, and then these are all like your pans here. Um, so yeah, again, they are like a beige one. They come in dark gray. And I think there is another color if it isn't just those two. Um, however, they're from Harris Scarf. They are all sold individually. Um, they're not sold in a set. For the whole set which we bought, um, it was over $200 because they range from like 60 or so each. Um, however, I really, really like them. I think it's a really great set to have if you're looking for a good set. They have nice little wooden handles here as well. Easy to clean, easy to wash. And um, I definitely would recommend them if you're looking for a pot set. Next, we have a bit of the wider section over here. So I'm just going to start with the top. So this is the bench. Um, this is our stove. And this is our oven, which I absolutely love because it is such a large oven. So you can cook so much in there at once. It's going from this side. So firstly, like, as you can see, you can see me here. This is like a chrome gray mirror that one of our friends installed for us, which is uh, Victoria, no, Victorian shower screens. Um, if you are interested, um, he does some really amazing work, him and his dad. And you can go check them out on Facebook or he does have an Instagram page as well. However, starting from over here, um, now these obviously were dishwashing, not dishwashing, washing tablets for the laundry. We emptied them and we're just using them for like little compost containers for the moment. Um, then we do have this knife set here. Um, now this was just, again, um, it always depends on what you like. Uh, we just really liked this. We wanted a good set. So these are actually Japanese knives that we got from house comes in its own little holder and has some really nice as you can see, detail on them. Um, this is the Baccarat Damisharo, if that's how you say it there. Um, and they've got really nice wooden handles here. And so again, um, because we just wanted a good knife set, um, we did find these and they were recommended by the people that worked there. They do have a really nice feel to them. They do have a weight to them as well. This is the wooden detail there. Um, they are very freaking sharp. They literally are the material that make summarize. So you definitely need to be careful when using these, but a really good range of knives. Um, yeah, these were the most expensive kitchen thing apart from the fridge um, that we bought. Um, this was about $1,000 for the set. However, again, everyone is different just depending on what you want to spend and what you were actually looking for. Uh, we find this really suits well in the kitchen and we really wanted a knife holder. So it's really good that it came with that. Um, again, you can always look for sales as well. Then lastly, over in the corner here, we have the kettle that was from my family as well. Um, this one is from Kmart. I think it's around $30 or $40, I think, if you're interested. Oh, I think I forgot to tell you as well at the top here, guys. That is the toaster and that is a matching toaster as well, both from Kmart. I'm going to quickly show the bottom here before I reach the top. 
Drawer number one is just the cutlery drawer. We got our cutlery from um, all these ones I'm talking about in a set. They were from Harris Scarf. Um, I think we got it for about $80, but they're normally a little bit more. So again, you can look out for sales in Harris Scarf because they get some really great sales in there. These are Baccarat ones. Um, finally, I see something with the brand that I can describe. Um, and these were from House. We got them for $25 instead of 60. So again, they were on sale. And if you were looking for a simple um, cutlery set like this, these are the Stanley Rogers ones. Second drawer is just like all my utensils in here. So we have rolling pin, a vegetable cutter, some little molds, and then obviously just like your wooden spoon and salad tosses. If you like this marble looking, um, what do you call, rolling pin, that is from House. And I really don't know how much this was. I think it was around 30 or 40. This was a set if you're someone that likes wooden utensils and a little pop of color. These were from House as well, and I think they were $15, $20. One last thing I just wanted to tell you, I can't pull them all out, but if you can just see this type of style, just the wooden and gray ones. This was a kitchen set, um, really good for like your cooking needs. That was from Kmart for $10. Third drawer is actually just like our medicines and stuff, and then the folder where we keep like all our receipts and bills in there. And lastly, down here is just um, all tea towels, which is actually overflowing. We have so many, um, but that is just that drawer. And also like little um, mittens, which we got for some friends. So thank you, Carolyn and the family. And thank you, Holly, for these ones and Judy for the moose ones. So at the bottom here, I just have placemats, chopping boards. Um, these little things with the bases here are just to hold some of my platters. They are the bases to go with some of my platter bowls and plates. And this little cross one here is actually the one that goes with that salad bowl that I was talking about earlier. If you like your beige colors or you just want a simple, affordable placemat for the table, these were $2 from Kmart. And then up here, we just have like teas, coffees. Um, yeah, so it's kind of you just grab what you want and you make it. <laughs> I just want to run through a couple of favorites. So this is the coffee that we use by Makona. It's the Mocha Kenya style in Rich and Exotic. It's really, really good, guys. Um, we got that from um, my partner's dad. We really do like that. Uh, we used to just have Nescafe and Nespresso, but we, if you want just like an instant coffee, that is really nice. That is from Coles, where we get that from. Um, next at the back there is another Makona one, and that is Hazelnut. There is some Sri Lankan tea, which we are yet to try. That is from Kanika, so thank you. And then in this blue box here is from one of my friends, Lily, who I used to work with, but is now moved back up to Cobram. Um, we see each other here and there, but she got me this when she went to Bali. It's just Bali coffee. Um, when we get our machine, I can definitely try this out. And it's just a cute little coffee quote, which I love my quotes. So thank you, Lily, for this one. And then towards the back will be scattered all towards the back there. Um, but that is just all different types of teas from T2. I don't know whether it'd be interesting for me to maybe do a video based on like all different types of teas and coffees. If that's interesting to anyone, let me know. Um, but there's quite a few different ones that I can show you. Lastly for the bottom is just here. So just like your plates and bowls and sauces and just a couple of extra things like baking trays at the back, a grater, some cups and sauces, which go with the, that set there. And then down here's just some platter plates and containers. Um, by the way, if you do like your platters and you like these marble looking platter trays, they were about $15 from Kmart. I'm gonna go up to the top here, starting with this one. So the bottom row here is just like basic ones if I have guests over, I would normally use this section here. Um, these two are mine, which belong up with the rest of my mugs. I am someone who loves mugs. I was thinking of showing um, maybe like a mug collection if you guys are interested and I'll include these ones as well. I thought that would be cool, but I use a lot of like fun mugs as well. Disney ones. I have some bottles in the um, storage cupboard over there, which I can show with you guys if you like your travel mugs. Um, but basically that is that. Um, but yeah, this mug set here, just the ones at the front, I think it's a six mug set and um, they're a really nice size they come with just similar patterns um but they were twenty dollars from matchbox for all like fun ones like this um normally you can go on etsy ebay um i got some from my mom and i got some from my um friends as well um alana shout out <laughs> um and i get some from like safeway coles and typo 
This, when my dad comes over after all this commotion, um, would be his favorite. He loves his spices and he loves mixing and matching. So this is just a lot of my seasoning type things here. These ones in these jars, um, this is from the bulk food store. If you want anything like rice, oats, little snack foods like apricots or yogurt bars, um, your general spices, and they've got a couple of body products and oils as well. Um, go have a look there. They're really sweet, um, really friendly stuff, and they just have a whole variety of stuff like this. Some excess over there. Thank you, Joanna, for my salt and pepper shaker. I literally use them every day. Um, then we have some more platter things up there, and then some pieces. So Nonna gave me the middle one, and then those girly ones were from Shane's gran, who passed away a little bit ago and um yeah i just wanted to keep them as things that have been handed to me and they're really sweet if you have friends over lastly here um okay so we just have like all our glasses um our glasses guys we normally get from harris scarf most of these ones um those wine glasses were from aldi then up here they were from kmart these glasses there that jar there that water jar was from oh my god harris scarf or house rather one or the other and then we have some extra glasses there. These ones were from Target. Last little cupboard here. Um, I'll just open this up. So basically that pink folder there and the papers there are just all lots of recipes that I've rather written down that I've got off the internet or ones that have been passed down from to me. Um, I've also got uh, magazines and like little bits from books that I just keep all my recipes in there. In the middle here, I have a Mickey and Minnie mouse salt and pepper shaker. Thank you to the Wen family for these ones. We love them. I cannot wait to have them out for when my friends come over. I think they got those from Disneyland in America. At the top here, we have some more um, platter trays. They are both from Kmart, ranging from 10 upwards. Um, that little round thing up there, I've had people ask me what that is. That's actually opened out and it's got cheese knives in it but that was given to us as a house thing when we moved in from like the original house company and then up here these are really handy these are by betty crocker guys thank you nana for these um so basically you put your cupcakes in there if you don't have time you've got people coming over three minutes in the microwave you've got the moist and fluffiest cupcakes ever lastly for today's kitchen tour we're going to finish off with the fridge now, firstly, um, yes, this fridge is a little different. Um, we really liked the concept. Again, the colour went with our style of kitchen when we wanted to get our splashback put in, as well as the oven and the dishwasher. As you can see, it just matches. So that's what drew our attention to this. Firstly, um, we always wanted something like statement piece in each room, which we find in the kitchen it would be this fridge here, as well as maybe the knife set over there. So basically, I'm just going to jump into it, run you through what's in there i'm also gonna do a grocery shop video next time i'm out just to go through groceries where i go what i buy just thought it was another little fun video that some people like to watch as well so this is by lg if you would like to look up this fridge um, i'm not going to run through like prices of like appliances because they obviously do cost more and yeah i just don't want to talk too much about prices like that um however um yes something we really wanted was one that filters your water that you can get some ice with. So obviously we just have this, which you tap at the back and your water will come out. Shouldn't have done that because I don't know why the hell I just did that. Anyway, sorry guys. I'm just going to clean that up and then I'll jump back into the other side. If anyone is interested in this fridge and you do want to go have a look and check it out, we did get ours from JB Hi-Fi. Again, you can get this fridge from a few other places. I don't know if everywhere has it as far as I'm aware. Um, however... Yeah, JB Hi-Fi, um, you can go online, you can check prices online if you like, if you don't want to go to the store, and I'll just run you through what it does and also inside and how I lay everything out. So as I already showed you, that is the water thing, and then um, over here is a little bit different. It's a screen. This purpose is you can check inside your drink fridge to see what drink you would like without having to open and close the door. I know I was one of those people and um, my family does it as well. Um, you tend to have the door open not knowing what you want. So for your drinks, this is a really handy way of not having to do that and choosing a drink before opening the fridge. Clear with this one, um, all right, I don't know what I want to drink today. I'm just going to knock on it twice. It's going to light up for you. Um, you're going to show your whole variety here. Um, 
and yeah so up here actually i'll show you these at the end of the video just for fun um shane actually um picked these out the other day they're all different like old drinks and they just look a bit cool so then you knock it off when you don't want this anymore that will go off and yeah that's pretty much that side of the fridge when you want to fill the drinks in there you just hit this under here and it will open and then just instead of the whole fridge door opening this bit's just going to open you stack everything up and yeah that's it now just opening and i'll just run you through I'm not going to talk too much about like ingredients in here, guys. I mean, it's obviously just food and drink, nothing fancy. But um, as I said, I'm going to do a grocery one and I'm going to run through what I like buy and share that with you guys in another video at some other point. Um, but over here, we just have like a few little bits and pieces. Then you have your shelves here. Now, I just want to show you something quickly. So supposing you don't want your milk as we display it, you can actually pull this out and it will give you more shelf storage so that's a very handy little thing that i really did like about the fridge as well but i push it back and i have that as that um but pretty much this is the fridge and then we just have the drawers for all like your fruit out oh. <laughs> for all your fruits and veggies which i really like there was another fridge that we saw as well that was pretty much the same but then down in this space here it had little you used to you would push back the lid and once you push the lid back you just um it was about this big maybe that big and you can store like cheese eggs little things like that in there which i really liked lastly is the freezer and something i really liked about this freezer here was that the drawers pull all the way out so i don't feel like i'm having to go right at the back of the fridge in the deep drawers i just find these drawers are really convenient so basically i've just got three on each side just come out like so and again, I will run you through like stuff like that um, later, just like desserts, meats, veggies, and um, bread and little snacks. <laughs> Almost forgot the lights, but these lights here, um, you can get from Beacon Lighting. Um, we got ours from Bunnings, though. I think they were a little bit cheaper in Bunnings. They are a matte black, and then they've just got like the LED light underneath. Again, this was something a little bit different to your normal kitchen lights. Um, we do have down lights as well. Um, but we really like them. It's a nice way to hang things over the bench. And um, yeah, so I think these cost about $120 each from Bunnings if you are interested in something a little bit different. And this has given you an idea. That's where we got them from. And that's how much those ones were. But apart from that, that is the kitchen done. So thank you to anyone who watched. I'll just go get those drinks out the fridge that I said I would just to show you something from the kitchen that's a little bit different and i hope you liked this i know it will be a little bit of a long video probably the longest video i've done so far but this was fun i liked recording this so so thank you and if there was anything in here that i did skip that you saw and you're interested and you wanted to know a bit more about it you can message me on instagram to ask or yeah leave a comment below and i'll be happy to answer for you but for now let's get those drinks so yesterday, as we were out getting some bits and pieces and groceries, we came across this little cheap store that had like lollies and drinks. Sorry for the pause in that little snippet. I thought I heard someone at the door. Um, anyway, so as you can see, they're pretty cool. Like, look at that. Like, that's Mountain Dew. That is so different to what we have in the cans and bottles now. Like, it's just really cool to kind of look at these. Um, the only one that I picked out of this was this root beer i have never tried this i think it's an american thing i think i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm just really interested to try that um apparently these cokes are supposed to be the all go best cokes ever apparently shane says they are um i think in thailand you could get ones like that if i'm correct um but we have mountain dew cream and soda vanilla coke sunkissed grape which i never knew they did and the root beer um we did have um a smaller bottle that was in like this and it was just like a blue cream and soda and i remember I, that as a kid actually and yeah they still got them and that was actually okay um he had that one last night um but these i'm pretty sure you can get from sweet as if if you are in melbourne um sweet as will definitely have somewhat these type of drinks i know they do like a lot of american drinks as well if you would like to try them out and give them a go yourself Anyway, that is my kitchen tour complete. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks again for watching. I know I already thanked you guys. 
Um, I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. That's for sure. So have a nice day or night wherever you are.